All right, here's the BDE block. So you can see it's all fully machined, uh, set up for dry sleeves with a shoulder on them. Uh, we machined the deck with no water holes. You can see here we've marked where the EcoBoost water goes through and then the black lines on that. These are the oil drains. Uh, we have to machine the drains. The block is made so that it can be a Duratec or an EcoBoost. So the holes are machined with only the parts of the drains that are common. So they are slightly different shapes. So you can see here the EcoBoost has a slightly different outline. So we'll go back through um, on the um, small CNC and we can machine those oil drains to the EcoBoost shape. We'll put all the water holes in for the EcoBoost. Um, and then you can see here, and it's a wet block, so everything, water gets around the cylinders. Um, on here, let's get to the side a little bit. You can see how the coolant jackets are handled. These are oil drains. So the oil drain comes in here, goes down, and then goes out through these little holes into the crankcase. Um, there is a little wing that bolts on here that covers up part of the bell housing um, that needed to be off so we could have access to get into the coolant uh, stuff. There are some little unique stuff. So this is machined for uh, an EcoBoost right now. A Duratec will have a threaded hole there. Um, these are plugs for the way that we drill our oil passages to get up for the main feeds. It takes a conventional Duratec or EcoBoost. You can use any of the oil filter adapters on it. Uh, let's get over to the other side and you can see kind of the same sort of thing. So you can see here, there's a wing that goes on the back that has uh, one bolt hole in it. Uh, that we, those are bolt on piece. Again, it had to be out so that we could machine in there. You can see the oil drain, how it goes down into the crankcase. And this has both Duratec and EcoBoost um, mounting bosses on it. This right here is an ORB for the oil drain back. And over here is where an ORB will go in for the turbo oil feeds. Um, this is set up like this right here uh, Duratec has an alternator mount. The EcoBoost doesn't run that same setup, um, but the bosses should be all right. Everything there. Uh, let's flip this thing over. We'll show you some of the other features of it. So uh, it has four bolt mains. So we use four bolts per, and it's actually studs. They're 7 16th studs instead of the 10 millimeter. EcoBoost has 10 millimeter, so 7 16th. Uh, basically, it, it ends up, you have about two and a half times the clamp load on the mains um, with this setup. The, another cool feature, uh, we'll zoom in a little bit. You can see the O-ring groove around the oil feed on the back of the oil pump. Um, we have the main girdle is all the way out and it's it's all structural so you don't have uh, the weakness of the factory girdle and then you see fretting on the factory girdles uh, where they touch the block because they don't have enough fastener and the way they register so in between these studs there are 10 uh, alignment dowels. So you have four bolts and two dowels per. Uh, another feature on this, um, rather, I'll show you this way, rather than have the EcoBoost uh, oil squirters, we have made it to use uh, down in here in the mains. Um, you can see they are threaded for the Duratec style um, squirters and that is cuts down on the chances of breaking a squirter. So the EcoBoost we've seen 
in some, very few, I think only once that I can remember, uh, but we've seen a fractured um, squirter with the little tube where it comes up and the Duratec ones, they can't do that because they're a jet that just threads into the oil galley, uh, through the oil galley into the top of the main in the block. And all of our oil galleys are all uh, set up for O-ring plugs. Um, uh, there's our normal top dead center for your TDC tool. All those provisions are all there. And just thought you guys would like to see this thing. Uh, we're gonna start getting it all set up and get Mark Lelchuk's uh, first engine together and get it on the dyno, get the thing proved out so we can get rolling on the rest of these things. I know a bunch of you guys are waiting and we're pushing hard to make it happen.